Conan Exiles is an open world sword and sorcery RPG filled with giant creatures, from colossal crocs to enormous elephants to big bugs to large angry red-headed women. I suppose it's not all fantasy then. I'm joking, I'm joking. You only proven me right, you know. Travelling this hostile environment with these monsters lurking around every corner can be a daunting prospect. Thankfully, Conan Exiles provides a solution to this problem. Thralls. The Thrall system is one of Conan Exiles unique selling points, providing an additional upgrade system to your crafting stations or friendly NPCs that will perform a number of tasks, including saving your Kyber Pass from being bullied. They're very good at it too. Despite many patches over the years to nerf these gods amongst men, Thrall followers are still incredibly strong and tough, able to withstand the might of pretty much any opponent. The most notable exception to this rule is the arena champion, the aforementioned angry redhead. She hits even harder than the fools do, and could destroy them given the chance. Thankfully she is balanced by having low health and the ability to be staggered. So yeah, thralls are the dominant species in the exiled lands, the alpha predators if you will, and they are loyal to you the player, making you the undisputed ruler of Conan Exiles. And if I was a cringe lord, I would end this video by saying I am the greatest kaiju in the game. I am the giant monster. But I'm not that cringe. Instead, I'm going to introduce you to this guy. It, oh, wait, hang on. This guy. This is Rock Slide, a rock nose king, a living mountain who is found hanging out in the middle of bloody nowhere in the desert by some rocks. Most recently I encountered him, or should I say he encountered me, during a purge, before the purge system got revamped, and he… well, let me show you exactly what he did. Hey girls, fancy fighting rock slide? Alright fine but you're helping me get replacements. Here we are back at Rock Slide's hangout with Leon and Janos. You can always find these guys in Leon's lookout, and they have pretty good stats, especially since the recent Age of War revamp. I haven't given them best in slot gear or the best cuisine because as I've already shown, these two with this gear can take on the exile lands with ease. Now I'm going to show you how they do against Rock Slide. You boys ready? Alright, let's do this. And Rock Slide starts off with a bitch slap. Fair enough, considering his quiet time was interrupted. During their fights with the other megafauna of the exiled lands, these boys took very little damage. The Rhino King gave them the hardest beating, and that was maybe one quarter of one of their healths over the entire fight. By comparison, Rock Slide has done this much damage in the opening seconds of the fight. The Arena Champion did more, but she has some major drawbacks which Rock Slide doesn't. I think you can see where this is going. Go on lads, rally against him, I believe in you! Liar! Well, there goes Janos. Bloody hell, they've barely scratched him. Leon has decided to hide in the floor. Come on now, let's not be having that. 
feel bad that I'm basically ordering him to his death. And there we go. Ruxlide has won with barely a chip on his gargantuan shoulder. Leon and Janos, on the other hand, Don't worry lads, I have a plan. Two hours later. We are back with a freshly recruited Leon and Janos, hand picked from a selection of worthy prospects. This time we have kitted them out with the best strength armors in the game and given them the hardest hitting mace in the game. They are also going to be nomming on exotic feasts to keep their healths up. This is optimum thrallage, something that with anyone else in the exiled lands would be overkill. But Rockslide deserves the best, for some reason. Here we go again. Go on my sons, give Methuselah's little cousin a kick in. Starting with a bitch slap from Rockslide again, a, a bit ungentlemanly. Already the boys are doing better. My hopes are raised. A few moments later. Janos has decided to hide in the floor this time, clearly learning from the ghost of Leanne the First. And he pops out again just in time to see Leanne the Second eat dirt. I tell you what though, he ain't doing too bad. Oh my giddy aunt, he did it. Janos, you absolute mad lad. A bit worse for wear, but you survived. And conquered. The same can't be said for your bro, though. In the arms of the angel. So I think I know what happened here. Janos being in the ground protected him from being hit by rock slide allowing him to regain health. At the same time, he seemed to be able to get a few shots in. By the time he popped out, he'd regained enough health, with Rockslide losing enough health, for Janos to win the day. And if this was a playthrough and this happened to happen, then I'd call it good luck, pick up the loot and call it a win. But that's not what we're doing here. Rise from your grave. Leanne II has been Lazarus and is ready to roll once again. Same armor, same weapons, same food. Based on the last fight, I think this is going to be a close call, a proper race of the health bars. But with dusk falling and the end of the day in sight, who knows how this will go. Once more, with feeling, let's rock and roll. A few moments later. They're getting minced. I don't understand it. A few moments later. There goes Janos. A few moments. And there goes Leanne with rock slide still sporting a third of his health. You did your best lads, but today's winner is Rockslide. Now it must be said, there's more that could be tried out. I could go through the Gamepedia, crunch numbers, get all of the buffs, both for the Falls and myself, and come back stronger than ever. I could try summoning an avatar, and take on Rockslide as a god. I could console command in the arena champion to see how she fares. Hell, I even set up this fort nearby to pit an army of thrall fighters and archers against him. But in the end, I think the fact I'm considering all of these options just goes to prove my point. Where everyone else around here rolls over for the beasts that are the full fighters, Rockslide stands tall. 
instead of going to extreme lengths or being incredibly petty, I think I'll instead concede, give him a crown, and declare Rockslide the most terrifying kaiju of these exile lands. <laughs>